Hello guys, uh, Lovely Tutorials here, and in this video, I'll show you guys how to add Windows Forms applications into your Unity game. Now, I made a tutorial about, I don't know, a few months ago or, or something, not a tutorial, a video, on, well, just showcasing it, and I, I just said straight up that there are a shit ton of uh, showcases, but there are zero tutorials online on how to do it. Um, and, you know, some of you uh, put in the comments, yeah, sure, go ahead and make a tutorial about this. Because it's true, guys. There are zero tutorials on this. So, I hope I can help you out, guys. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. First thing, first, first things first, if you don't know what a Windows Forms application is, search it up or just know that it's like you're like basically like the little window that opens up whenever you double click something. I don't know, it's a Windows app. I, I really don't know how to explain. You should know. Um, and I expect you to know basic C sharp. Because, yeah, I mean, we're going to be using C sharp. Duh. Um, let's get started. Basically, what we're gonna do is just have like a little Windows forms pop up whenever we press a key or something, and then there's gonna be like buttons and stuff that we can press and interact with do something in our game. Very cool, guys. It is very cool. You're communicating between two applications. It's it's amazing. Um, it's well, yeah. First thing you need to do is just create a simple script. I have created this. Uh, I created this script right here. Yep. And let's go ahead. You're gonna have to import two DLLs. Um, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna navigate to. Uh, well, obviously this only works for Windows. I just like to say that. Um, you're gonna go to Windows, see whatever program files. Now scroll down to Unity, Editor, Data, uh, Mono, Lib, Lib, whatever, Mono, 2.0, and then scroll down until you find System.Windows.Forms. You're gonna drag that right here, and then you're gonna uh, look for System.Drawing. Well, you don't really need drawing, but I'm just uh. Using it right now, well, you don't really need drawing, but I'm gonna have it anyways. Drawing is basically like, actually, yeah, you do need drawing, but when you wanna, yeah, positioned up, you know, like buttons and stuff. Alright, so basically, once you have that imported, just import it down here. You can go back to your script. Of course, this script can be attached to any game object, really, it doesn't matter. Just go back to your script and, um, have an error. Okay, have an error. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's up? What's going on? Okay. Let me go ahead. Just delete the script. So yeah, you have a new project. I'm not even gonna go over project creation because you know how to do that. Blah blah blah. blah. New. Of course, you can. Form manager. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, the object. And I just add it there. Okay, move this. So now that you already have your two DLLs here, just go here, open up the file, open up the script, basically, and you're gonna include two new 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 namespaces using window no system dot windows dot forms and using system dot drawing now it's been a long time since I've done this so I'm gonna have to look back I'll have to peek back to my uh my the old way to do this but I kinda have how it's done I have done it before I have figured it out myself but it's been a long time since I've done it and I have to peek back to this old script. This script is from a different project. Ignore this little tab right here. Just focus. This is our script. This, I'm just uh, peeking back to my old script, the one that I showcased before. Um, you can go ahead and delete this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. okay. I think I think yeah. Start. So basically, first thing we need to do is we need to make the windows for the the, the window appear. So if I uh, I just okay. So how we're gonna make it appear is we're gonna go ahead and do void update 
if input dot get key down key code dot w or whatever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and print opened Windows form. And of course, do this to be on key down. Whatever your game is, whatever you're doing with your game, do that. Um, go back here to where I did it. I have not examined it. Here we go. Uh, okay. So what I did there, there's that open. Okay. So. Hmm. So this dot. Okay, there we go. Open cheat window. Perfect. Um, I'm trying to look for the place here. Where is it? Where is it at? Uh, oh, this is going too long. Hmm. That use it there. If you would give me just a sec. Okay, so I've come back, and I'm sorry. Remember, I told you uh, I uh, I haven't worked on this in a long time. I had to take it back to my old script. But basically, yeah. Um. So what we need to do is create a new form. 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 And then on click that whatever. Um. Okay. Form equals new form. Perfect. And then form dot show dialog. And when we press W now, we should a form should pop up basically. Let me give us an error on it. Yep. Let me give us an error. Okay. So this cannot. If you get this error, hold on. Okay, what does it say? You cannot load type. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay. So it's when you okay, what about this? So Sorry, I uh give me a sec. Shit. Alright guys, we are back. I'm sorry for that uh that actually took me a while to figure out. I even had to open my old project and figured out what it was. So basically this should be your code form form code update and then whatever uh form equals new form form that show dialogue and then print open this form. You save that and when you come here you have this little pointer here. What you gotta do, guys, very, very simple. You go to File, you go to Edit, Project Settings, Player, and you go over here, make sure this is Mono 2X, this says Mix. Now go over here to API Compatibility Web. Click this and click Net 2.0. Let that uh, load there and watch this error disappear. Now let's press Play, and whenever we trigger it by pressing W, Kaboom, we have our Windows form application. Isn't that perfect? Now this is just part one guys. In the next video I'll show you guys how to add buttons to it and how to interact with it. Very simple as you can see, come on, we all we had to do was really uh declare it, kinda instantiate it again, and then just show it. Based technically three lines of code just to have that show up on the screen. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope it helped. Next video I'll show you guys how to add buttons and uh, text boxes and whatnot. Thank you all for watching and bye.